सब्सक्राइब कीजिए आयोडा इंस्टीट्यूट चैनल को और प्रेस कीजिए बेल आइकन को ताकि आपको मिल सके हमारा लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले और ये बिल्कुल फ्री है हेलो एंड वेलकम टू आयोडा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑनलाइन माय सेल्फ नीलम शर्मा एंड आई एम हियर टू प्रोवाइड यू अ साइंस लेक्चर थ्रू दिस चैनल सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास 10 दैट इज केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड इक्वेशन बिफोर वाचिंग दिस पार्ट आई एडवाइस यू टू वॉच माय फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर टू अंडरस्टैंड इजीली नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट आवर टुडेस टॉपिक दैट इज बैलेंसिंग ऑफ केमिकल equation balancing of chemical equation according to the law of conservation of mass the total number of mass of reactant must be equal to the total number of mass of the product so as we know that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed this is possible only if the number of atom of each element of the reactant side must be equal to the number of atom of each element on product side so balancing of chemical equation means number of atom of each element on both side must be equal so now let us take an example h plus has to be raised to hcl4 plus hydrogen so now first step is to write the equation in the form of skeletal chemical equation after that enclose each element of reactants and product in the boxes so that during balancing the chemical reagent cannot be changed now next step is to draw a table here number of element number of atoms of reactant number of atoms of product now number of elements are iron oxygen and hydrogen now here we write the number of atoms of each element which are present in the reactant side and product side there is one number of iron in the reactant side and there are three number of atoms of iron in the product side and oxygen is also one hydrogen is 2 these are the number of atoms present of these elements in the reactant side and these are the number of atoms of each element present in the product side now let us balance the equation so to balance the equation we have to equal so to balance the equation we have to equalize the number of atoms of both sides so let us balance first oxygen to balance it we have to multiply with 4 so now here we can put 4 after this iron multiply this with 3 here 3 So now iron is balanced oxygen is also balanced and hydrogen here what we can say that hydrogen is increased by 
मल्टीपल ऑफ फोर सो मल्टीप्लाई फोर नाउ वी गेट एट हाइड्रोजन इन रिएक्टेंट साइड एंड वॉट अबाउट इन प्रोडक्ट साइड we will multiply this with 4 to get balanced equation so now multiply here with 4 so let us check whether the chemical reaction is balanced or not 3 iron 3 iron 8 hydrogen 8 hydrogen 4 oxygen and 4 oxygen now we can say that our equation is balanced so now you can take a screenshot now Second example: Methane reacts with oxygen to form CO2 and water. Enclose each element in the box. Then make a table. Number of Elements, number of atoms of reactant, number of atoms of product. So now, now how many elements are there? Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. Carbon one, one. Oxygen two, two. Hydrogen four, two. So oxygen is balanced. No. Oxygen three. So now let us balance oxygen because carbon is balanced. So let us balance. Carbon one one two three hydrogen four two. Now let us balance hydrogen. Multiply with two, which are four. Here multiply with two. What we get? Four. Now let us balance oxygen first because carbon is balanced. So multiply this with three. We get six. Multiply this with two. We get six. So now oxygen three. Here are two oxygen. So before balancing oxygen, we will balance hydrogen. So multiply this with two. So we get four number of atoms of hydrogen. So we multiply here with two. And after this, oxygen. Two oxygen are here and two are here. So multiply this with two. Two two is a four, five six. So number of atoms of oxygen are six, and here also six. Now carbon. Here carbon is increased by two. So multiply this carbon with two. So what we get? Carbon balanced, oxygen balanced, but hydrogen is increased by four. So four to the eight. So here also we multiply with two to get equal four to the eight. So multiply this with Four, four to the eight. So here, what we can say that oxygen is increased by two. Two to the four plus four, eight. Six, seven, eight. Now here, three to the six oxygen. Seven, eight. So multiply with four to get balance. Now we can say that our equation is balanced. Take a screenshot. Let us check by second method. Iron plus water gives rise to H3CO4 plus hydrogen. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इनक्लोज ईच एलिमेंट इन दी बॉक्सेस एंड देन गिव सम अल्फाबेट बी सी डी एंड आफ्टर दिस अप्लाई आफ्टर दिस apply law of conservation of mass that is number of atoms present in the reactant side is equal to the number of atoms present in the product side this is for iron oxygen b equals to 4c and hydrogen 2b equals to 2b that is b equals to d okay so now let c equals to 1 a equals to 3 by putting c equals to 1 here we get a equals to 3 c equals to 1 we get b equals to 4 and now b equals to d so d equals to 4 putting this in this equation A equals to three, so three iron plus B equals to four, so four water. B rise to C equals to one one. I take three or four, and D equals to four, so four hydrogen. Hydrogen. Now let us check three iron, three iron, four. Eight hydrogen, eight hydrogen, four oxygen, four oxygen. Now we can say that our equation is balanced. What we get from here? A equals to one, B equals to two, C equals to one, and B equals to two. Now by putting these number in place of alphabets, what we get? C X four plus O two. G rise to CO2 plus H2O. So A equals to one, B equals to two, C equals to one, and D equals to two. So now let us check whether our equation is balanced or not. One carbon, one carbon, four hydrogen, four hydrogen, four oxygen, and four oxygen. Now we can say that our equation is balanced. Now you can take a screenshot. Now let us check some more equation. C D H eight plus O two B rise to C O two plus water. Enclose each element in the box. that during balancing the chemical reagent cannot be changed now putting a b c and d for carbon 3 a in reactant side for oxygen 2 b and for hydrogen 8 a so number of atoms of reactant equals to the number of atoms on the product side so in product side carbon is c and oxygen are 2c plus d and hydrogen 2d so now let us assume a equals to 1 what we get By putting a equals to one here, c equals to three. So now c equals to three we get. By putting d equals to one here, we get d equals to four. So d equals to four. By putting d equals to four here and c equals to three here, what we get? Three to the six. Six plus four, ten. B. 2b equals to 10, so b equals to 5. b equals to 5. So now we get this a b c d 
by placing this a equals to 1, b equals to 5, c equals to 3 and d equals to 4. Now let us check whether our equation is balanced or not. 3 carbon, 3 carbon, 8 hydrogen, 8 hydrogen. 10 oxygen, 3 to the 6, 4, 10 oxygen. Now, we can say that our equation is balanced. Now, you can take a screenshot. If you like our videos, then give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you have any queries regarding to our chapter, then you can freely ask by dropping your um, questions in the comment box. Thank you. सब्सक्राइब कीजिए आयोगा इंस्टीट्यूट चैनल को और प्रेस कीजिए बेल आइकन को ताकि आपको मिल सके हमारा लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले और ये बिल्कुल फ्री है